The Rode Wireless Go has been out for about two years. I was finally able to get my hands on one and afford it because my parents bought it for my birthday. Um, so let's take a look if it was worth the wait and if you should still consider buying it in 2020. This is your first time tuning in. My name is Sebastian, and this is Nerdy Knickknacks and Geeky Gear, where I like to talk about all the gadgets and gizmos aplenty that nerds like to have lying around, uh, and give my two cents on it and review them. Uh, today we're talking about the Rode Wireless Go. I turned 31 a week ago, and uh, my parents were so kind to go ahead and buy this for me for my birthday. It's something I've wanted for a long time now. And you can probably tell by looking at me, I'm, I'm sweaty. And I'm hot, because I just got back from a walk. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the footage and the audio I got from my walk earlier today. And I'm going to go clean up, and we'll talk about the findings after that. All right. First thing I wanted to do was check this little wind muff. Everybody says that it's... A terrible little muff that it just falls off for no reason. I've been walking on this beautiful trail out here, Line Creek Trail in Kent City North, and it's still on there. It's just uh, hanging out. Sorry, I'm so out of shape, but I really wanted to get out of the house today and, and record a video. So I'm doing both. So I'm sure you can hear all the noise. There's people around, animals, wind, nature. Let's see how that sounds. You know, this is really good news. Say you're at a convention, say you're vlogging in public, whatever it is, you just put it right here and you don't have to worry about it. It's right there, it's ready to go when you're ready to start recording. Okay, hold up. Somebody want to tell me what the hell this is? <laughs> just a random ass half flight of stairs. And the other thing I really love about this guy is that it's versatile. Right, right now, you see I moved it off of my bag and it's sitting right here on my, uh, on a uh, cold shoe mount, almost working like a, um, what do you call it, a shotgun mic. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause and cut back to, to the office and uh, don't worry, it's the same video I shaved to show that time has passed. Um, after reviewing the footage, um, I found the audio to be quite good, especially in these first couple clips. But after I dove into the footage, <clears throat> but after I was able to dive into the footage more, I found this clip. Um, and, and just watch. So I didn't strip the audio from uh, this shot. Both units were on and plugged in uh, to the camera. Uh, the camera was recording, but you can see it just didn't pick up any audio. But then if we fast forward here to the end of that shot, as I'm walking towards the camera, it picks up again. Birds. That it's picking up, but what you'll notice is, is I'm behind the camera and it's still picking up just that sound. Now, much like you, I have watched tons of other reviews about the Rode Wireless Go and, and none of them had issues picking up at a distance. In fact, I've seen videos where people have just walked and continued walking and the Rode Wireless Go continued to pick up without a single problem. And so I thought this was actually a really great opportunity in that uh, now I had to deal with customer support. Something was clearly wrong, but what's really great about this product is it has a two-year warranty uh, covered by Rode. So I went ahead, I called up Rode, and uh, I spoke to the man for about 10 minutes, and he realized that I had just bought the product, so he told me to go back to B&H, ship it back to them, and let them ship me a new one because it would be faster than going through their uh, warranty process. And uh, so I had to deal with B&H's uh, customer service, and... 
which I think is kind of a surprise point that I, I get to bring up that I haven't had a chance to bring up, is that both Rode and B&H have wonderful customer service. And if you have a problem out of the box with something like this, they're going to take care of you. But moving on from that, I just want to go ahead and take a quick moment and cover a few other things that I really liked about the product that I hadn't really seen anybody else cover. And the first thing is, I never realized how small this actual audio unit was. In my mind, I realized that it could be held in the palm of your hand. Both could be held in the palm of your hand. And, but I didn't really, I, I always thought it was about the same size as, say, a, a Game Boy cartridge. But then when I finally got one, was able to hold it and put it on my person, I found that it was actually the size of the art on the Game Boy cartridge and smaller than the Game Boy cartridge itself. And something I touched on uh, briefly that I think deserves mentioning again is that this is, is, is an incredibly uh, versatile system and, and that versatility is only enhanced with the uh, Lavalier Go, which I'm wearing now on my person and you're hearing all the audio come through, and the uh, Rode interview go both of which i bought this i don't think i'm ever going to use this but i bought it so um so do i recommend the rode wireless slob so do i recommend the rode wireless go with all of its accessories yes maybe not maybe not this one unless you have a specific use case for it which i might we'll see if i end up using it this is a great system. It's easy to use. Um, it's easy to handle. It's small. It's portable. It's durable. And the customer some cust customer support is is realistically some of the best on the market. And they gave me no trouble. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know uh, in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you out if you're still trying to figure out whether or not you want to pick up the Rode Wireless Go. Um, other than that, feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more content coming your way. Thank you. Yeah, this microphone is also good if you find a secret trail off the beaten path and want to go looking for Bigfoot. What's that sign? <laughs> this YouTube review is about to turn into a found footage film. Oh God.